Hi everybody, I'm Rochelle with Godiva Secret Wigs and this is Jessica. And what we have on her that she's just purchased is a Freedom in Nutmeg F. And I want to show you how little changes can really make a huge difference in customizing a wig. So Freedom, the color is Nutmeg F. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. So do you, I have your permission just to do whatever I want Go on this? Go for it. Okay, great. So I know Jessica likes her wigs or her hair sometimes super short. So I'm going to end up just thinning this and making it shorter. But we're going to start with the bangs. We start around the face. So right now I'm just looking to see what side. Um, I'm, for those of you that don't have a lot of hair up front or very fine hair, you can have a habit with your own hair of bringing too much forward, like from where you would put a headband. But the illusion with the wig is that you have enough hair. So I'm going to suggest that you move a lot of that hair away and just start at the bang right here. So we have our bangs on most of our wigs too long for a reason. And that's because everyone has different size foreheads. Some real short, some real tall. I have a high forehead. So this way you can customize it or take the wig to a hairdresser and they'll just do some little trimming and make it look perfect for your sweet face, okay? So, Jessica, I'm just going to start lower, longer than we think, but I want the bangs out of your eyes. Mm -hmm. And I can see with this wig that it needs a little rounding out of the bangs. So before I go further, we uh, sell our hot roller brush and I'm just, keep it moving and I'm just slightly rounding these out, holding the ends to curve it in. Can you see how that just yep. slightly rounded it a yep. little bit? Okay. Oops, sorry. And then if I want to just make this a little bit flatter, I can just hold it there a minute. But just simple little things make a huge difference mm -hmm. with our wigs. All right, great. I like that better now. So, the way I trim is I kind of jump around. And I'm not a licensed hairdresser. And for me, after wearing wigs for all, over 40 years, I'm not looking for a precision cut. I'm looking for a visual cut. Because this wig is always going to look like this, just like my Kelly is always going to look like this. And all of our wigs hold their style. They've got what we call memory curl. So, and in your own hair, like it's never like even the day after you leave the hairdresser, it's different. And exactly, so that's human hair, that's and natural. that's why I've I've never chosen a human hair wig. I, I should say I had one, and I never I never wanted one again because. I have to deal with the human hair, like with my own hair. Mm -hmm. Where's the convenience? That? <laughs> right. You've got kids, you've got a busy oh, lifestyle, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So it's just fun and quick. So I want to show you first, I'm widening this out to open Jessica's face a little bit. And here, you know, I just look, I trust myself, and if you have a hairdresser you like, you just do a little trimming. So for some people, I'm going to turn you mm -hmm. a little bit. You just stay right where you are. Freedom can be a little too long, or any wig may be a little too long for you, but proceed slowly. But on this video, I'm just showing you how little changes can make a huge difference. So I'm picking hair, and I'm just cutting it up into the hair to even make it a little piecier. And uh, 
a little lighter. So I'm going to move this and I'm working below. So I never thin up at the crown, I thin under the crown. So let's say Jessica and I agree, which I don't think so, but I'm showing you for the video, that this is a little too thick. And I want to make it a little bit airier, so I'm using my thinning shears. The smooth side goes down. I take a little bit and I just come right as close as I can to the root and one cut. And here's the hair I got out of one cut. That's a lot. Yes, and so now you see the, the uh, the smaller teeth, to me, keep it looking natural. And this is the thickness that I'm using of the teeth here. So I just wanted you to see that. So yes, a little, sometimes right around the ear, it can feel mm -hmm. thick. Mm -hmm. So I'm only doing one clip at a time to open this up. Let's say down here, it's a little thick. See? So clip and pull. Clip and pull, okay. only one clip, only one, you know, little clip. And then you look, but I don't ever thin up here because we don't want to see any shorter hairs oh. or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So, but like right here, I'm going to lighten it up just a little bit. And when I say lighten, I mean thinning. Some of you have very thin or fine hair and you don't, you know, the wigs feel bulky on you. Mm -hmm. But not to worry when you're with a hairdresser, someone you trust, they can uh, do all the trimming and get the job done that will flatter you the most. So let's just see a minute here. Yeah. I like this. It's laying flatter, a little flatter right awesome. here for you. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to turn you this way a little bit. So normally the way our wigs come in, you'll see the way the part wants to go. That doesn't mean you can't part it the other way. So many times I'm just changing my part, especially with a new wig. I want to see what it will do. And Many times, some, you know, many wigs, sometimes I'll wear it one way, the next time I'll wear it another way. But look and see the part. Don't choose based on what you're used to because that's with your own hair. So think about how does the wig look best. Mm -hmm. So right now, I'm just going to make all this a little bit shorter. So I'm kind of doing a pull down, pull down. And, you know, if you're a, a, little, <laughs> a little wild like me, a little bit of a risk taker, a little rebel, <laughs> then you may, you may try it, but um, some people don't want that. So I'm just taking some of the bulk off this. See the bangs are still in your eyes a little bit. There we go. Oh, there we go. There. Anything yeah. in your eye right now? That's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> As you blink, we will be able to see. So let's take a little look right here. This looks a little heavy to me. And actually, I love my freedoms. It really doesn't, but I want to show you. I'm kind of gearing this video towards the woman that thinks her wig is a little too full. So I've clipped away from the top, and I'm just going right under here. I'm going to clip one time and pull away and it makes a tremendous difference. You won't see where I clipped at all because it's under 
all the top hair, but the wig will lay closer to the head. we want to go a little bit shorter on Frida. I want to show everybody now. Here's the difference. Wow. Yeah, right? Awesome. It's laying, I hope you can see mm -hmm. that it's laying so much flatter. And of course, work first around your bangs, around your face, because that's what changes most yeah. so fast. Mm -hmm. And Jessica could actually wear, like I do many times, any clients, you can wear Freedom or many of our wigs all behind your ears, and it's great. And so now it's not puffing up as much, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And sometimes there's, um, which one do I wear? And I put it behind my ear, and my ear kind of folds forward folds, a little bit. Uh -huh. And so this, yeah, that's very flat. So just little by little trimming. I'm just going to get in here and just chop a little bit. I know some of you adventurous ones like Danny Jane out there. Uh, she's a wild one and she's going to play with trimming, especially if you have an old wig before you give it to the kids or let the dog play with it. Work on trimming it, <laughs> you know. So by making this shorter, I got some more height up here. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. And it can still lay flat, but if you spritz it, like I'm going to do in a minute, you'll see it'll pop up. And some of you really like that. Let's get my water. I love spritzing my wigs because they get a piecier look, and personally, that's something I really like. Okay, let's just do it. Because <laughs> you see the little difference that it makes? Yeah, that's gorgeous. So, again, I haven't it's trimmed funky. anything on mine. Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. And so look at now, I'm still going to make it a little flatter, but that pieciness of it. Mm -hmm. And then say you love that. And the, the roots come out a little bit more when you do that. You know, right. Right, the roots show up a mm -hmm. little bit more. So say you love this look. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you don't brush your wigs all the time. You want it styled and you leave it alone. So in that case, just close your eyes a minute. I'm just gonna do a few spritzes, but with our low alcohol hairspray, it's got a high water content. And so it's less, much less damaging to the fibers and even on our own hair, it's fantastic for human hair. So and it smells fabulous. Doesn't it? So good. It's hoping you'd say that. <laughs> so Here good. you can sniff now. <laughs> <laughs> so what I love to do because there is more water content. So please, with the low alcohol hairspray like our keep it there, do not spritz it and then put your hands all in it. Spritz it and then let it dry. And then you'll have that pieciness. So first use your water and then your hairspray to kind of uh, set it up, mm -hmm. if you like that. And so that's a great way. Awesome. So I'm going to work on the back a little bit. Sometimes, although I love it, but a, boy, you look like me from the back. <laughs> Can you just look straight ahead there? Mm -hmm. So some clients, will say, I don't want all this, I don't want all this sticking out. I want it to lay flatter. So you can easily just take these little pieces, again on the diagonal, and just cut it so it's closer in to the uh, head. And all you're doing is cutting little pieces. And maybe you don't want the neckline this long. So again, I would start in the middle and I'm just trimming, not just across, never across, but on the diagonal. And I'm gonna make this quite a bit shorter so you can see how great it trims up. 
So here I haven't trimmed it, and here I'm going to keep going. I'm kind of pulling down with my nails because little hairs can pop out, and we don't want an extra little odd piece to be sticking out when you're out with friends like that. So I'm going to try and get it all. So here's the hair I have not cut shorter yet. And it's really so much fun to trim a wig. And it doesn't take a lot of time. And you just proceed slowly. So maybe Jessica doesn't like this little round curl around the uh, ear. So again, I'm just holding the hair. I'm going to lighten it up and make it a little bit shorter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> My fingers tell me when I'm done. <laughs> yeah, cute. And not to say that our wigs need trimming. They certainly don't. But it's all about making it how you want it. So see that piece? We're going to get rid of that piece. And I'm going to make these a little bit shorter. So this is, these are great tips also for women, um, older women, and the wig is just too much hair for them. So I'm just lightening it up. Another fantastic thing with trimming this much off, huh. like the, um, how the wig sits on your head, like uh -huh. you can't, you still can't see the, it looks so natural that you can't see where it's on your head. Does that make sense? Well, you can't you see can't, where the work was done, you no, mean? you can't see like, like the, oh. the wig part, you know? Yes. Like it looks, it looks so natural. True. Even with cutting all of that off, but it, it still looks Glad natural. you said that. Yeah, great, great point. So now we're much shorter for freedom all the way around. I, I still love it. I think it's great. Oh, yeah. So cute. Uh-huh. And so let's just keep going a minute. And let's say we want to take this a little bit shorter. I'm going to keep some long pieces. And I do a little trimming, and then I stop and have a look. Because I, my fingers can want to go too far. <laughs> but this is pretty darn cute, awesome. right? Oh, I love that. That's way cute. I like, I like what you did with the back. That looks cute. Thank you. So right here, let's just see. Do you like this little piece? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And I'm just going to clean this up a touch. And you know, for those of you that you show your ears, mm -hmm. please don't leave a whole bunch in front. Mm -hmm. It starts to look like a wig. So take from the top here, take it to the back, and leave just a little bit. Now, Jessica has her hair right here, too, and that's fine. So little wispies. I just want to show you on me, too, because as I'm looking, you know, I can, with Kelly, leave that. And to me, it just looks like so, a lot. You know what I I'm like saying? It. You it like cute. it. Yeah. Okay. I like how it frames your face. Okay, so we have our personal <laughs> styles. Yeah. For me, I, I hold here and I put it around my ear. Maybe because I have a cute pair oh, of yeah. earrings on. That's huh? cute too, yeah. You know, I like just a little less right there, so. Yeah, both look great. Thanks. Let's see. Making sure nothing in the eyes. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. 
Yes, so let me just turn you around. So here is a trimmed freedom, and I trimmed it pretty short. I could still go shorter, and I have on clients, <laughs> <laughs> but this is just a very light, you see how it lightened freedom up for those mm -hmm. of you that want a little closer. So don't be afraid to go to the hairdresser and, you know, ask for referrals if you don't know one of, a, of great hairdressers and try them out. But if you do have them trimmed, don't make them responsible for putting the wig on at the hairline and at the tabs. Like, you be responsible to do that first because if she didn't do it the right way, oh. then she's trimming the entire wig and then every time you put it on, it's gonna be a little like this and that's gonna really bother the heck out of you. <laughs> <laughs> I think for me, like I'm, I would be nervous to do it because I wouldn't want like the wig part to show, you know. Uh -huh. And but you totally can't. Like it's totally no. no. That would be my worry. But you, yes, I mean you took a lot off, and it still looks fabulous. Yes, so. it's just fantastic. I have to keep looking. Mm -hmm. And I could go much shorter here. I could go shorter all the way around, but. Uh, I think this is plenty and for you to just wear it and enjoy it and Jessica can always come back to me when she's more clear on okay I want a little more done here mm -hmm. but yeah. I think it's perfect and that comes to yeah. after like you said after wearing in a few days mm -hmm. and you like oh yeah this is kind of bugging me uh -huh. so yeah it takes a little but once you wear it like yeah now would you wear it shorter in the back I can't see the back Oh, that's so right. Don't <laughs> <laughs> you don't have eyes on the back of your head. Sure, <laughs> we'll go short. <laughs> now, I, you know, I think I'm going to leave it right now, but oh, something in me. I want to take a little bit more. Oh, just do it. So I am. I am doing it. <laughs> so some of these long pieces, I'm just going to make a little bit shorter. So I'm holding the piece, and I'm going almost straight up. I like that. So it's more to thin it than to it's cut it. It, it lightens it up. It makes it airier mm -hmm. and a little bit shorter too. I, for some clients, I have taken freedom to about one inch all the way around. Oh wow! And it still looks great. You know, it's still it's just a tremendous wig and really fun to trim. So. Um, all the wigs are and just keep in mind ladies it takes very little trimming really to make a great difference so there we are awesome a trimmed freedom mm -hmm. I hope that helped and if you have more questions I hope you'll put them on the comments below and you know we have over 400 videos they've been awesome <laughs> good them, yes and there's tutorials so many that Danielle does an amazing job and we keep trying to answer all the questions you have and, and I hope we're doing a good job for you so thanks for watching and thank you Jessica thanks so much Rochelle this okay. is so fun talk to you soon bye, bye.